Hi guys, what's up? We are at the thrift store. We're at a different thrift store. We're at, normally we're at a Salvation Army of some sort um, near me, but I actually drove like 40 minutes to come to this Goodwill because I've been itching to go to it. A few things that I really have been looking for that I've been shopping on, like on retail websites, and I'm like, you know what? I just really think I can thrift these things. Like, for instance, maxi skirts and like midi skirts. I have been, I'm actually wearing one right now. I've never been a skirt girl, but lately they're just like so easy and comfortable, and I like them with like sweaters and cardigans and stuff, um, and like any shoes they literally go with any shoes that being said this is really like my i want to say first or second year like really getting into them and so i don't have that many and i would really like to add some more vintage ones specifically a plaid one i'm really looking for a plaid one otherwise this is what my pinterest board kind of looks like at the moment i feel like it changes every few months maybe honestly every month i feel like it changes um and right now it's very like quirky very personal style based fun accessories and like cool patterns and different things like that it's kind of what i'm looking for um i need to move actually because these person is like really close to me. Before we head in, thank you so much to Mint Mobile for partnering with me on this video. Super excited to work with them and tell you about them. I've been using them, uh, I want to say about a month ago I started, a little over a month ago, and I have been loving them. Ever since I went on my own phone plan years ago, um, since that day, I have been shocked at how much such a necessity costs um, and how overpriced, in my opinion, I think it is. So since that day, I've been meaning to kind of just switch over and try something else. Mint Mobile came to me at the perfect time, and so I'm super excited, like I said, to talk to you guys about them. You may have heard of Mint Mobile already, and you might have already seen like the commercials that feature Ryan Reynolds that are super cute and funny, and um, I, by correlation to being obsessed with like Lively, also love uh, Ryan Reynolds. So remember when they first started Mint Mobile and he was going on talk shows and he was kind of talking about that. I was like, that's such a cool concept. But anyway, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for as low as $15 a month and you do not have to sacrifice any coverage, speed, or data. They're built on the nation's largest 5G network and they keep costs low because they can sell directly to you online. And so they cut out the retail stores and the salespeople. So to me to switch over was such an easy choice because it's like, why would I pay up so much to be on the same network? Also switching to Mint is super easy. Thanks to their digital eSIMs, you can sign up and activate immediately right on your phone right from the comfort of your home no more standing around waiting in line at the big wireless stores and you can also keep your current device and phone number and easily switch services and also don't worry if your phone is not e-sim compatible mint will also ship you a sim card free of charge literally it's so easy i never really knew much about an e-sim but it's super easy to just whenever they you sign up all my mobile plans include unlimited nationwide talk and text plus lightning fast 5g and a free mobile hotspot plus mint will show you how much data you use each month and then recommend you plans that can save you money Mint also offers a modern family plan that lets you set up a super affordable family family plan with as little as two lines. If you want to check out Mint Mobile, go to the link down below, or you can also go to mintmobile.com slash cup of Jordy. That way you can get premium wireless starting at $15 a month. I'll update you guys in vlogs and stuff on how I'm liking it as well. Um, but now let's go shop. It's getting, it's about to, I think it's like going to get darker soon. It's like only three, but I think by the time we get out, it's going to be a little darker. So we might as well head in. Are these smaller ones, it's so quiet and, um, it's not very busy right now, which is a good thing, but also I'm whispering, that's why. Anyway, I also love Goodwill because they have Target dead stock or like returns or whatever. So that's what I'm gonna look at really quick. See, I love this. First of all, 30 bucks. That would be nice on the bed. I kind of like this with the red trim on it. It's like a good knit. It looks like really good condition too. I don't know why I kind of like this, but you know what? I want like a Sherpa vest. Not like this like long me fur, but like a uh, Sherpa or like a faux shearling I think could be cute. But I did find, I went to the home decor. I found way too much. I should not have done that because I have so many things that I still need to put away. But oh my God, wait, this is cute. <gasps> oh my God, this is so cute. I, oh my God, in my size. I never saw this at Target. Pattern in the big, Okay, yeah, I'm getting this. This is so cute. I have also been looking for something with a big collar. If I could find this in white, that would be amazing. But that is so cute. Look at that. You make a good look charm because I just turned you on. I was like looking through the things and I was just like, I haven't seen anything really, but let me show you my card. What it's looking like so far. I got this because, I mean, first of all, it's a really inexpensive wreath and I think I'm gonna take these flowers off and I'm kind of going to redo it with some bows and some other things and just kind of upcycle it. And like I said, it's only $4. Um, and once it's fluffed out and like cleaned, I'll kind of spray it down. It should like come back to life, you know? And then um, I also found this. Okay, I think I might put him back, but I like, I've been really liking fish and he kind of matches this one. I see, I don't think I need too many fish in my house, but I thought he would be so cool, like painted a pretty color. Santa, I just liked it because the present bow was super cute. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna grab him. Um, and then this, I think it's cute for my office. I'm pretty sure, like if I had big, 
flowers or something in it, but I'm not sure also. And then this, I also wanted to upcycle. I really like this part of it. Um, and so if I take like a cool bow on it and my own little things, I think that'll be super cute. Like another just little wreath for over the house. Some clothing things buried, let me grab. Okay, first thing, I already showed you this, but I'll show you it this way. How cute is that? I can't believe I never knew that was at Target when it was, maybe it's new and it just came here, I don't know. But this, okay, so I almost bought, I can't remember what store I was at. Oh, I think it was at H&M. And I almost bought a cardigan like this. Now I found this and I'm just like, wait, this might be perfect, but I'm not sure. I might try it on, like over my stuff. And lastly, I found this dress, which I just, I always feel like I always pick these up. First of all, back is super cute. You can adjust it. And second of all, you, I feel like layering under it. And I just love denim dresses like this. So now I'm in the men's blazers because I'm just, Black corridor, cute. I was looking all around, like, do they not have skirts? And they're hidden in the corner over here. So let's go look and peek. I already looked through the dresses. Um, that's the nice thing about Goodwills is that they are all always size like um, sorted, you know? Kind of cute. Please look at how cute these are. They're short. And I think they'd be like literally one or two, one size too small. I think they're, yeah, 14. They're so adorable um, that, I mean, I picture them with like tights and like shoes like this, Mary Jane's or some ballet flats and stuff with a cardigan, a sweater, and like a beret or something. Oh my God, I think it would be so cute. Someone else will love her, but she's so pretty. Some thrift finds really do break my heart when I can't bring them home. And like that is one that, this is a cute skirt dress up it's like an athletic kind of skirt i think that's adorable and decide if i like really love or really hate this and i have no tripod but it's kind of like very similar to a skirt that i'm looking for and that's why i'm kind of like i don't know i don't think i love the tassels on it like at the bottom okay this is like almost exactly what i'm looking for but longer or pleated you know but like this i love the woolish of feel and like the color and everything like that I'm seeming too lucky here but that's okay i'm so excited right now i found christmas sweaters for myself and the guy said that they just put them out so it's great timing let me show you them i'm stoked i mean look at sandy's bedazzled this color it's gorgeous i need to try all these on but um i love them this one's like a more simple looking one i just think it's so cute um, and perfect and I don't have any Christmas sweaters to be honest like any vintage ones I don't think even um, and then this I think I might grab for Jared. I just really like it I think it's like first of all it's wool rich. It's beautiful. It's in great condition. It's just so pretty and yeah I'm so excited. That was great timing for this Christmas sweater. First of all, I just pulled in to oh, pulled into um, the Salvation Army parking lot because we're here now and I got my tailors of pre-sale code. I hope but you guys who signed up and did like the verification thing, I hope you guys got one too. Um, and go look at the Hunger Games. That's what I feel like it is. Um, I haven't done this in so long for Taylor and I don't remember. I, I mean, the last time for Reputation Era, um, I just, I don't think it was this crazy. I mean, she's coming to Detroit, I think two nights in a row, which is crazy. Anyway, this is on Taylor Swift video. Um, I need to run in, I'm gonna run in there. I grabbed some stuff from the Goodwill. I found I found a lot of good things, like those Christmas sweaters. I'll show everything at the end, but um, I might actually have to wait until tomorrow. I wanted to fill, finish filming this today, but anyway, so we're gonna head in. I'm in and I just saw this jacket, kind of like a fleecy jacket, and you know what, I'm gonna put it back, but I do wanna try it on. I just realized I can't get one because I know I just went through my coats and I know I have at home the ones that like my top tier with the ones that I could not part with and I cannot fit another one, like physically cannot fit another one. So we're just trying this on. Cute and it kind of reminds me of there's a there's like a fleecy Lisa says God jacket on their website. I'm, I think so right now, and it kind of reminded me of that. And I do really like this. <sighs> this is getting bad. Like I need a whole room for my clothes because it's like I justify it because I live in Michigan, you know, and so it's like today's 35 degrees or whatever, and I'm just like. I, I understand why I have 20 coats to look through, you know, whenever it's cold out. Um, so we're just gonna hop on to that. Also, love this denim jacket. I think that's a great denim jacket. Why do I love this? <laughs> I don't know why I do. It's so cute to me. Kind of iconic, <laughs> right? All right, we have a little haul. 
I'm so excited. Um, I think this trip went pretty well, pretty well. Found some core things that I've been wanting. And uh, first off, I did get some like home things. I got that one, no, I got, I got the two wreaths. Those are in the garage because I'm going to DIY them. And then I also got this. I just thought this was so pretty. It's this vase um, and uh, I loved it. It kind of reminded me of, what's that brand? I cannot think of the name right now. Love Shack Fancy, but obviously it looked, Love Shack Fancy is very much so based on like vintage fabrics and stuff, but like I love this and I think it's going to be so cute in my office, which is this room right here, like the color palette behind me. It's the last thing that I have as far as like home stuff goes in here, which is my little Santa. I got him. Um, he was $2.99. He's so cute. The register even said like he is fancy and he is. I love his present that it has like that bow on it. I just think he's adorable and so he's either, maybe he can go in here too because I'm going to decorate this room for Christmas. Oh my god look wait. It's cute there. That's kind of just like a catch-all right now but um, like decorating this room for Christmas and Vlogmas so like it has a cute little backdrop for my videos and stuff. Um, Anywho, let me push you back a little bit so I can show you the rest of what I got. This is my outfit of the day right now. I'm in a great mood because I just scored some Taylor Swift tickets. Um, what was that? This is my look of the day for that, but really this is just like my go-to outfit for fall and winter, like when I'm working from home, um, because I can easily like take the dogs out with it, I can go get the mail with it, I can run errands if I wanted to in it, because it's like a good medium, especially this thing. I've showed you guys this before, but I love this North Face like pullover, because it's cozy enough to wear outside when it's freezing and I don't get cold, but then it's also warm enough to wear inside where I don't overheat, you know? So I'm wearing this, I'll link both of these down below, but this I got from Dick's Sporting Goods, and then these are my Donnie sweatpants that I love so much, which clearly I love this color. Anyway, enough for outfit of the day. Now we have some things to go through. These, I wanna try these on. There's some, you guys know I love these track pants, and I just feel like these would be really good. I have actually like this new dress that I just got in that I think would look cute over this, so I'm gonna try that on first, I think. Okay, this dress is a little see-through, but this is what I came up with. I think I'm gonna layer a sweater on top of it. this. I think that would be cute, um, but I really love the look of like track pants under a dress, kind of layered. Like I said, let me find a sweater. Like, I kind of just like the idea. Mind you, this dress doesn't need to be steamed. It literally, I just opened it before I turned on the camera. Wait, what if I try something like this one? I think this one I actually like even more. Lately, I've been calling these outfits kind of like my ugly cute outfits where I don't 100% know if I love it, but I like it a lot, and I like that it's, like, playful for me at least. Like, it's me kind of playing around with my outfits. And the reason I call it ugly cute is because it's, like, Right now I think it's cute, but it's something that like six months ago I might have thought was ugly. And in six months I might still think it's ugly, but like right now I think it's cute, you know? And then if I did not want to play around and be like funkier than normal, I would literally just pair these with a sweater like this. And I think track pants with a sweater and like ballet flats is such a cute, comfy, casual outfit. But the ballet flats kind of bring it up. The sweater kind of brings it up, but you're still so comfy because the pants, these have nice pockets, but anyway. Next, I have some Christmas sweaters. I want to try on these Christmas sweaters. This one I got for Jared. I mean, this is cute. Vintage Woolrich sweaters have my heart. This pattern is one of my favorite vintage patterns. If you know what this pattern is called, please let me know. But I do not. I love that it's a cable knit sweater, though, with the two reindeer. I think he's going to love this. And then next, I got myself two Christmas sweaters. This is so cute. This one is my favorite, I think, because I've never had a Christmas sweater quite like this. And I really like pink right now, and so I loved that it had this like pink detail on it with the blue and then Santa's in the back. Oh my God, Santa's, wait, Santa's all over. He's in the front too. Like there are different, different angles of him. And it's not every year that I'm like super, 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 super into Santa. And this year specifically, I'm very excited for Christmas. And so this will be going all season. And then I also have this one, which is more of like just a day, to, your day to day Christmas sweater, um, little cardigan. And imagine this with like, let me just, oh my God. Wait, try this out. I want to try style. This feels so Christmassy to me. I kind of like am living for it. Like I love it. So first off, I had to put my tights with it. I feel like the tights with this is such, so wintry to me. And I love this sweater. I think it's so cute. Also, I thrifted this skirt too from the second thrift store we went to this and like the pants I bought at the same store. We have a two-in-one styling too. This is how I have it paired here. Um, I love this sweater. I feel like it's perfect. It's not too Christmassy. You can wear it all season, but you can wear it literally like even if you're not in a Christmassy mood or whatever. And then I'm wearing my You Can Go to Hell. I'm going to Toyota Thon shirt because I think that's, I, I kind of, it kind of reminds me of like a kitschy Christmas, you know, which is my Christmas vibe this year. And so I love this. It looks like a little red hair bow. I think would be perfect, but I left mine downstairs. Nonetheless, these tights are from Amazon, you guys. I love them. I've only worn them once, so I can't like speak on like the full term quality, 
But the night that I wore them, they were so, like, I thought I had ripped them multiple times because I'm so used to tights that rip so easily. And these were like, I think they were $10 on Amazon and they have a ton of colors. I ordered two more colors because I'm that obsessed with them and they go up really high, feel really nice. They're super stretchy and comfy. So I'll link them also. Oh my God, I'm linking a ton of stuff. I'm sorry. Anyway, then I just have my Clark Wallabies with this outfit. Okay, so you guys need to tell me, was this sweater worth $25? Like the arms are a little short on me, but like I honestly genuinely do not care. That's how much I love this sweater. And so this is the back. I wonder if there's anywhere you can get like custom, like who makes these anymore? You know what I mean? Like who made this and how can I get them to make me a custom one? Like imagine like Felix and Rex's little face and I have the cats and like a little like peeking out of a Christmas present, like all three of them. I want to get my own made. That would be such a cute idea. And this is like so nice. It's beaded. Okay. We have our last two pieces. Very excited. Um, this little skirt, I think I'm going to try on. Actually, I think I'm going to try on that outfit together. I'm sorry, but I think this little shirt is so cute from Target. If your Target still has this, like, highly recommend. It feels so nice. It has these big balloon sleeves. I've been looking for tops like this for, like, so long, and I feel like I need to look it up and see if they make it in white or cream or something, like a plain color. And then with this little skirt, like I said, I really like this outfit together. What? Maybe I would do it with, like, black boots. You can see it. Kind of love it. Oh my god. Also, this is a mess. So sorry about that. Um, anyway, I like this outfit. They're ties too. I love it when things have like things that dangle from them. Um, I don't know what it is about them, but this is the last of my stuff. And yeah, now I'm going to go. I want to do those wreaths downstairs, but that's for a different like Christmas decorating video. But anyway, that's it. Thanks for thrifting with me today and hanging out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And also thank you to Mint Mobile for working with me on this. Make sure you check them out below. And yeah, I freaking love this top. But um, first snow of the year today. And I'm going to go edit this video. And yeah, love you. Bye.